Good morning. We are inspired by the saints who lead the way by their loving mercy and inspiring faith. Before we begin, let us take a few moments to prepare ourselves in silence. again acknowledging our sins on this glorious feast of all saints we pause now to celebrate the sacred mysteries I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of good will. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> and let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the sea and the land. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000, marked from every tribe of the Israelites. <clears throat> After this, I had a vision of a great multitude which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne worshiped God and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows, he said to me. These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, 
We are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Just a couple of announcements. You may have already heard that due to the uh, spike in COVID in our area, Bishop Hine has canceled all confirmations until Lent of 2021. We uh, realize that this uh, sudden change of scheduling is something that will take some adjustment on the part of many people but I believe we are all appreciating the importance of how at confirmation gatherings there is more of a a risk at this particular time. Also, uh, many of you may have received my uh, flock note um, this past week. I uh, sent it out uh, with the idea that uh, we probably are needing to be even more mindful of the safety of all people who are at this time uh, choosing to come to church, which is wonderful. It uh, read like this, Dear parishioners and guests, Infections are spreading across the United States and especially in Wisconsin at the fastest rate since the start of the pandemic. As a result, and as your pastor, I am not only requesting 
but I am requiring that masks must be worn at all times, including during Mass at Nativity of Mary Parish, starting November 7, 2020. Please direct any questions about this requirement to me personally. Masks required at all times in all facilities. The church will continue to be sanitized per regulations. At-risk persons should stay home. You know, I can require all I want, but I need you. I depend on you. And uh, be assured, I am most grateful for your cooperation with this. All Saints, maybe you remember hearing Pope St. John the 23rd say, uh, every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. Makes me feel good. Then uh, St. Bernard of Clairvaux, who has so many wonderful quotations, said that uh, a saint is not a person who never sins. A saint is a person who sins less and less frequently. Very encouraging, isn't it? And on this All Saints Day, for us to be able to think of the range of personalities, the range of characteristics, the wide range of people of all types who are listed among the saints. In a way, I think any of us can find a model that inspires us, encourages us. There's also the wonderful way in which our scriptures today, especially the gospel, reminds you and me that at our baptism, when we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, we also took on the identity of Christ. And you know, in the early church, to be baptized was pretty much a death sentence because at that point, you were witnessing to something that was not acceptable at all. And so when we hear the Beatitudes, we become aware that Jesus was simply saying, this is who I am. And I hope you will want to identify with me, to identify with me. There's that uh, story about uh, St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. A priest wished to go and visit her, and so he went from the United States and spent time with her people, and one particular day when they came back from gathering some people in the streets to her particular building, he was noticing in one of the corners there was a young girl who had just come off the streets, and one of the sisters was attempting to help her just kind of freshen up a little bit, clean up a little bit. And every time the sister took the sponge and was approaching her, the little girl grabbed it and threw it back at her. And this was kind of going on for a while. All of a sudden, Mother Teresa walks into the room, kind of sees everything going on, and at that point walks right back to where that young girl was and said, Sister, let me try. And as soon as Mother Teresa had the sponge and she was going to try to help the girl freshen up. The girl reached for it, but Mother Teresa let the sponge drop on the floor and took the little girl gently 
by holding her shoulders and looked into her eyes for what this priest said. It must have been at least two minutes just looked at her. And the little girl embraced Mother Teresa. What did she see in the eyes of this saintly person? Well, I think some of what we just heard. She saw someone who could mourn with her. Mother Teresa was communicating, I know what you're going through, and I'm sad with you. She may have looked and the little girl would have seen this, uh, this hunger in Mother Teresa's face for righteousness, for justice. A little innocent, powerless person hungers for justice because they are not in charge. She might have seen in Mother Teresa's face uh, this wonderful gift of mercy, being able to see that in everyone's life there are times when decisions are poorly made, mistakes happen, sin occurs, and yet that gift of Christ's mercy is able to open up the possibility for a new beginning. Or maybe she saw that uh, peace. She saw how Mother Teresa brought a peace with her that was intended to be something in which others could participate. And at that moment, Christ's identity was revealed through this saintly person. And it made all the difference in the life of that young girl. On this particular celebration of all saints, you and I are once again reminded, encouraged, and loved by Christ in a way that helps us identify with him so that when other people look at us, feel our presence, enjoy our embrace, that they'll want to identify with him too. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day 
in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bring our prayers before God this morning. That Pope Francis may continue to inspire us by his acts of kindness to all. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear that we may elect leaders that live your love and keep your ways so we may live in a nation that is an example to the world of equality, dignity, justice, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the saints in heaven intercede on our behalf so we may continue to grow in our faith and love for Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Learning from the suffering of the saints, may all who are ill grow in their trust of the God who brings us consolation in all our trials. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have gone before us, especially Nell McGinnis, may they receive a place at the eternal banquet in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for our own confirmation class here at St. Mary's due to have been confirmed next Saturday at St. William's Parish, that they will continue as they would await the gift of the sacrament of confirmation and the power of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, Grant a favorable hearing to all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, 
we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For those who are worshiping at home an act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. is for the Saving. 
Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Oh